I won't spend too long on this, but this is one of the very few ab exercises that I actually do. Ab wheels are an absolute staple to what my training consists of. Um, but there's a particular way on how I, I've just started thinking about the ab wheel rather than just performing an ab wheel, just in the general sense of moving your arms outward and then bringing them in. Um, still thinking of the concept of pushing the hips to the ground, pushing my nose to the ground. But what I've started doing is I've started curling my feet up to my butt almost. So my quad makes contact with the ground. And once my quad makes contact with the ground at the bottom, I'm thinking about uh, pulling from the upper knee or the ground grounded quad that's on the ground. I've noticed it's, it's a tremendous amount more uh, tension in the lower abs, but uh, yeah. So it's at this point where I'm gonna end up just keeping everything still, upper body, keeping uh, the abdominal wall tight, and even here, I would like my hips to be further forward uh, to to the ground, push forward through the ground because I have a slight hinge in my in my uh, hip. So I would like I would like to push that a little bit further down. Uh, I know my arms aren't straight. I get that. Uh, my, my back is is good and straight. There's no there's no deviation in the straightness of my back. And then from here, I'm going to keep everything straight from here. And I'm going to just focus on pulling with my quad right there. Pull with not only the quad, and it's targeting a lot of the hip flexor and a lot of the lower abdomen. So just a variation of added resistance to the ab wheel. Once the normal ab wheels become a little bit too easy, uh, then anything that I can get for ab exercise over like 12 to 15 or 20, then I kind of just stop doing it just because it just seems like I'm just repeating a pattern that I already have. So I'm just going to add a little band tension. And all I did was get two uh, micro mini bands uh, wrap them around my wrist, anchor them in front of me, and as I perform the exercise, it's uh, that same concept as we just discussed before with pulling through the knees, getting into the hip flexors and, and lower abdomen wall, and it's just, it's a tremendous amount different uh, with that added resistance, but it's a, an amazingly effective tool, and we also have assistance exercises with this as well.